Hello Cancer! Thank you very much for tuning into this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Tarot Illuminati by Eric C. Dunn. There's how you spell his name, and Illuminati, in case you want to find that. Supportive Oracle Cards, Chakra Wisdom Oracle Cards by Tori Hartman, illustrated by Gretchen. There's Gretchen's last name. That way, if you want to find any of these artists, there you go. That's what you do. All right. Cancer. That's it with these? Okay, that's well, one face down. Only because it caught my finger on the way out. Okay, so. Whatever you're, it's about history. Do you realize it though, is a question. Not in the sense of like, are you thinking along those lines? Do you realize whoever you're, or whatever you're dealing with is also reviewing the situation similar to the way you are? Because I'm getting like, you're looking at a situation, like whatever it is that brought you here to watch this, or that's like, you're thinking maybe this is for me. Immediately, it's kind of like, this is something that you play over in your head. And you try to understand why this, why that, what's going on with this, how does this keep happening, things like that. Like, almost like I feel like you're looking at a person, for most of you anyway. And it seems like we have the similar intent. We both want this to happen. We both want things to get better for this, or we want both want things to go better for that. We're trying to go down the same line, but no matter how hard we try, things go kaflunky every time and you're trying to figure out like why why every time it just the more we try to work together the more we're at each other's throats i don't is it that intense for maybe it's not as intense but i feel like it's going off it's going awry it's kind of like we seem to look like we're agreeing where to go where we want to end up but on the way there we just it just doesn't work it just doesn't work and you're like why like, why can't we just get along? Like, and you're kind of even like, I try to get along. I try to bend over backwards sometimes. It still doesn't matter. It always backfires. And I feel like the other side is kind of coming at it the same way. But I've got, I've got other things happening here. Like, this other side seems to feel similar. Similar. I'm noticing they got the lover's card on their side. And for some of you... This other side, whatever you're dealing with, does not see it, like, does not understand that you're bending over backwards. Even if you've said it to them straight to their face, they just don't seem to think that that's actually what's happening. Um, it's weird with this card, because this is an interesting version of the lover's card. I'm not sure if I'm all warm and fuzzy about it, but I think it's really good with getting a mess, certain message across. And it's almost like the way they're seeing it and the way you're seeing it, it's kind of like... I just don't feel like they're getting it. They don't understand that you're actually trying. Even if you've told them, they don't seem to understand it. But that might be the point of this. It's interesting. It's like blowing me away that this is how this card is coming in. For some of you, there's something else over to the side. And I think you know what that means. Because um, this is a face-down card. Like, Even though they're trying to see it your way, not, they're not trying to see it your way. They're, they're doing a similar thing where they're like, I don't understand why this goes so crazy. Um, no matter if we're on the same page to begin with or not, it never stays that way. They're going off into a different direction. They're taking their energy and they're investing it somewhere else. I'm getting this is why this is face down. Like they're investing their energy somewhere else. They're, they're kind of detaching from you. And they're not dealing with you any more than they feel like they actually have to. And that's kind of like they're centering on something else. But like especially if you look at the imagery on this card, like for the lovers, like these two people, you notice they're like they're literally separated by is that a river? What is that between them? Like, there's a divot between them. They're not coming together, which is such a peculiar way for the lovers to come in. 
And you're seeing like the angel at the top is trying to like pull them together, but one's feeling like they can't go over to the other side because it's all burning. The other side's like, if I go over there, everything else is going to start burning too. This is a weird interpretation of the lover's card, I have to say. Because I like, I think when I originally looked at it, I thought it was more of a gold type feel, but now I'm noticing the flames. This is more of a biblical feel to it, definitely. Um, it's something off to the side. I'm feeling it again. They're literally staying away from you. And they're deciding that. Sometimes they consider moving back towards you, trying to try again. But the isolation card is overriding the situation. They're not connecting with you anymore. And I feel like the longer this goes, the more it's going to be like this. If this situation doesn't turn around soon, I'm seeing where this is going because you've got some obvious cards. Because you're trying to be okay with it. you got the facade card on your side. When this is all happening and they're, annoy they're not annoying you, they're avoiding you. They're staying away. They're not dealing with you at all. You're trying to act like that's okay. And part of you kind of likes the break, but another part knows that this is a big, this is going to cause a big change. Whatever this is, this detachment, like, I don't know how to say this other than you detach long enough, you will actually be detached at some point. And I feel like that's where this is heading. Because you're trying to be, like, you're trying to just go with it. We're, things are peaceful right now. There's no problems. There's no problems. So we're just acting like it's cool. Now, this can go a lot of different ways. This could be literally a work situation where somebody is avoiding you. But there's going to be a break. Somewhere there's going to be a, a veering. Because I feel like at some point you're like... We've been avoiding each other for so long. We don't get along anyway. Why are we bothering with this? And I feel like you're you're kind of going into that. Like you don't really want to do it, but you're kind of like, hey, why bother anymore? You don't want to be a part of this. I don't want to be a part of this. Why are we bothering? It doesn't have to be romantic, but like that lover's card is really peculiar, isn't it? Completion is coming on your side. You're kind of like, why are we wasting our time? Like, we we just don't see eye to eye. We never seem to, even though we try to. A conversation is going to happen between you and this person. This isn't going to go off into the sunset with nobody saying a word. But I feel like you're both going to agree, like, this is not, this, we just don't work well together, whatever it is. Could be a work situation. For some of you, it literally is a friendship that you're like, you have common things that you both hang out and do. And it's been a long-standing friendship. But at this point, it's so exhausting and you're kind of like, we're, we're avoiding each other anyway. Why are we pretending? Why are we pretending? Like, why are we going out of our way to make other people feel like we get along when we don't get along? There's a conversation here. I'm noticing there's no rough energy like neither of you are fighting it i feel like you're just both kind of like you know what and what i'm really seeing here and i know this may sound strange but like it's basically like well let's just be facebook friends it's kind of like as far as other people know we're still on good terms in truth like we don't have animosity towards each other but like i'm not going to comment on your posts anymore you don't need to comment on mine if you see something in a picture and i'm with somebody like you don't have to acknowledge me in it don't worry about it i understand we're just going to go our separate ways. Nobody else needs to know we've done that. But, you know, let's not bend over backwards trying to make something work that doesn't work. If somebody, I feel like that's what you're doing. Like, let's just be on honest terms. Like, we just don't get along. I'm not going to follow your page. You're not going to follow mine. If people want to include us both in the same thing, like, I might just back out because I just don't want to see you. No offense. And you're both like, and you might be like, you know what? I feel the same way. None taken. It's just, I don't feel like a... I don't feel anything like, er, I feel like, yeah, no, I agree. When this ends, there's a period, there's an awkward period. I don't feel like you can just kind of like detach and be like, oh, that's cool. That's great. I don't feel like that's going to happen. I feel like there's like a, an adjustment period kind of like, you just feel awkward. You just feel awkward about it. I'm not seeing you distraught over it. Not really. You're just kind of dealing with it as you go, kind of like, I don't know how I feel about this. The growth comes in on your side, with which is this, the Prince of Pentacles. Like, I feel like it, the longer it goes like this after this moment, because I literally feel there's a conversation, 
the longer it goes, it just seems to get easier. And I just feel like you kind of grow from it. I don't feel like you and this person have animosity. It's just kind of like, we just don't want to deal with each other. Whoever it is, I, we just, that's it. We're not throwing, you know, darts or knives at each other. Just, we're kind of pretending the other doesn't exist. I don't know if that's really fair. I feel like you're acknowledging if the person's there. But for example, if you're both at a party and you see the other person across the room, you're not going to walk over to make sure you say hello and vice versa. You know what I mean? You just kind of be like, oh, okay, they're there, so what? I literally feel like the longer this goes, the better you feel. I don't think this is going to be as hard as you think. I feel like after it's gone, like, for example, that party feel, after three or four occasions where you're at the same thing and you just kind of like, yeah, they're there, I'm there, who cares? You'll get used to it and it won't be an issue anymore. And I feel like other people around you will, will catch on that the two of you are not at each other's throats. So you don't have like this negative thing going on, but you're just kind of like, yeah, it's fine. They're there. I don't, it's fine. They're there. I'm here. It's not a problem if we a end up talking, but we're not looking to talk to each other. Like, you know what I mean? It's, it's a really weird ending to me. It's kind of like, they're there. I'm here. If we end up talking, so what? It's not really something I want to do, but who cares? But even then, if you end up talking, it's kind of like, I don't need to. And you don't, you, you're just like, you're not going to plan anything together. You're not going to move things together. If somebody tries to pull you together, you, you, I feel like you both, both of you probably will walk away from that situation. I feel like the other side's okay with it. I think it's a peaceful ending is what I'm actually getting. And I just feel like you're not expecting it to be as peaceful as it turns out. And that's what we're going for this. Okay, that's the message that came through. I'm going to let it be. Thank you for watching. I hope that helps. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.